At Georgia State University, our students have wonderful classroom experiences. In addition, Georgia State has resources that provide them with real-world experiences that prepare them for their careers and, and future life. One of the college's most important jobs is helping students round out their classroom education with real life experience and training. Our students work with state-of-the-art equipment and facilities, including our laboratories, observatories, concert halls, and recording studios. DIAL, or the Digital Arts and Entertainment Laboratory, is a fully functional industry standard film and video studio where students produce professional level programs right in the middle of campus. We have a lot of opportunities for students that a lot of people don't realize. You can learn sound design, you can learn digital effects, and experimental filmmaking. The possibilities are huge and, and are unparalleled in the Southeast. My name is Christopher Escobar and I'm a second year graduate student here in the Department of Communication. Dial is a studio, but it's also a collection of professionals, both students and staff and faculty, who work on media in, in all sorts of formats, if that's web, video, film, Indie ATL is a music video podcast. We do a live video shoot where the, we have indie bands perform and we put it out via the web on iTunes, Vimeo, YouTube, all of the social media networks. As an associate producer, I'm in charge of getting crew, scheduling the crew, running the productions out here. Because I've been able to run a high quality production that's produced over the web through various mediums, it's giving me an opportunity that steps above and beyond the classroom. Some of our most exciting opportunities for our students involve bringing together approaches and techniques from different fields. In the new Petite Science Center, researchers from various disciplines work together under one roof and share not only cutting-edge scientific equipment, but ideas. When you have access to mathematicians or you have access to physicists or even philosophers, you can really expand the way you think about neuroscience. My name is Lori Idson. I'm a third year neuroscience graduate student. About 55% of individuals over the age of 20 will experience some sort of chronic pain. About 90% of those individuals are treated with opioids like morphine. But over a given period of time, morphine becomes less and less effective to treat their pain. We're interested in looking at the underlying neural mechanisms of the development of morphine tolerance so that we can better treat these individuals suffering from chronic pain. We're specifically interested in looking at the proteins that mark for glial cells and glial cell activity. And what happens normally is that morphine actually inhibits neuronal functioning, and by that way, it dampens the pain response. So what these cells do, when morphine binds, they become excitable, which inhibits morphine from dampening down the neural response. It's my hypothesis that they prevent morphine from doing its work. Georgia State students have access to a resource that is truly unique. Atlanta, the ninth largest city in the country and the economic and cultural capital of the Southeast. The College of Arts and Sciences has students working in urban health, historic preservation, the urban environment, and other key areas for the future of cities worldwide. If you go to another school that's in the suburbs, you're away from that environment that you're trying to study. Here I can see everything that's happening. We walk past Woodruff Park and we see what's happening there. My name is Nicole Clark and my major is Sociology with the concentration in Race and Urban Studies. The Atlanta Housing Association decided to move from public housing to vouchers. The purpose of them doing that was to not have poverty concentrated in just one area. We want to see if that was going to actually help the people that lived in public housing or if it actually was harmful. So we went out into the field and spoke with the clients that were directly involved in the public housing. There were over 300 participants. Some people were pleased with their new homes, but most of the cases, nice apartments would say, no, we're not taking the vouchers. So they pretty much ended up in similar living conditions. Even though the move to vouchers was supposed to help decrease the concentration of poverty, somehow they all still ended up in the same neighborhoods. When I first signed on to the project, I didn't realize how big it was. But knowing that 
Atlanta is one of the first cities to tear down its public housing. It was a great experience to be able to be a part of that. With its commitment to international education and cultural exchange, the College of Arts and Sciences houses a wide range of international programs and initiatives. Asian Studies, Middle East Studies, Latino Studies, and the Center for Collaborative and International Arts, or CENSIA, among others. Without leaving campus, students get to interact with scholars, researchers, performers, and other experts from all over the world. Visiting artists know exactly what they want. They can say things that make so much sense to you that you haven't thought of before. My name is Harrison Cook, and I'm a cello performance major. Baghdad in Exile was a Cincia event to bring together two different cultures. We played with Brahim al Haj. He's a fantastic musician who came in and worked with us to really create a cohesive event of Middle Eastern music. We're used to Bach and Beethoven. Here, you might have a scale going up, but you'd have two different half flats that you always had to hit every time. We had to actually sing Arabic for one of the pieces. And just learning how the different vowels sound is just completely different than what we're used to. Rahim is a brilliant musician, and he was able to look back and say, no, you need to fix this little thing here. You guys sound great here. Anytime you get to work with a professional musician, it's a giant melting pot of ideas from different people. The atmosphere of the concert was very different than what we're used to. It was more of a social event. It's not going there to perform and show that you're the best in the world. They do it simply for the love of the music. The best part about the Baghdad in Exile concert was working with Rahim al Haj. Knowing that he escaped from Iraq, he moved to Syria, his goal is to make music. And seeing that come through in his music was a wonderful experience. At Georgia State, we provide students with more than just a degree. We provide them with opportunities, we provide them with resources that allow them to, to build themselves personally and professionally to equip them for their future lives and careers.